so welcome back guys so in this lesson I am going to show you how to create a twist joint wrist twist so let's snap it on the grid put it up here snap this on the grid and shift let's make this okay so it's our wrist joint and it's our palm J so now what we are going to need is create a joint between this joint where we need to put a wrist and just go to modify create ep curve tool and just create a curve okay let's go to its option in a one degree okay one linear it's okay so let's let's just fart snap to the joint and this joint and hit enter and then what we need to do is create a joint hit c on your keyboard to curve snap okay now let's just place it up here and now what we can do is we can go and parent this on the the joint 3 i think joint 2 and then just parent joint 3 under the joint 5 let's rename it W R I S T twist T W I S T twist. So the problem, what you really need to understand is local rotation axis. So see the local rotation axis of these joints. We want this just to facing toward this joint. Okay. So what we can do is go to select all the joints. Okay. Display its L R A. And select the joint one and go to skeleton joint one skeleton orient to an option okay it's right now at plus y we can just do it plus y okay and just to orient okay now it's totally facing toward other joints okay now you will not get any problem otherwise you'll get unnecessary problems so what we are going to do next is just select all of these and hide its LRA. You can find local rotation axis under the display, transform display, local rotation axis. Okay, you can hide this. So let's create a IK handle. So let's create in a normal pattern. Okay, select this followed by this okay now the problem is what happened is okay our elbow our twist joint wrist joint is breaking down so it's not the right way to do it i'll show you the way how we can do it just select the ik handle select the joint and then select the wrist now what we are going to get is okay see the moment okay but the problem is we want this ik handle to be here so what we can do is we can go to the effector of this joint handle and hit in w first and then insert and part snap to the wrist j and insert once again now it's on the right place okay so let's see okay we're getting it the way we want so let's create a controller let's just create a circle okay it's zero and just rename this h a n d hand i k underscore c c okay just and group it because control we want you know the it's just going to create this handle this i k and we want it's local rotation axis to be same as this joint so let's select this go to constant and hit parent constant uh, edit notice the maintain offset has to be off because we want this to be snap on this joint and let's select this parent constant and delete this otherwise you'll get a cycle error when we are going to do that you just can do the vert snap control vertex or move this or till 
now we haven't deleted history so just we can let's put one on x and zero on y so it will just choose the way we want so what we are going to do next it delete its history okay so let this and delete its history we don't want history to be here for this just there is no rotation axis but don't toss this one because we want attribute to be here don't freeze this transformation we can select this followed by i key handle and go to constant and just do a point constant and see whether this quick maintain offset okay so what we can do now is okay but the problem is we are not able to move this mm. and so for this the twist control we just need to select just curve and select the twist bone and go to constant and orient constant edit reset it setting so for this we need maintain offset to be on we don't want the value of this so we don't want all axis we just want x axis to be twist uh, because y axis if we'll do this it will control all the brain so we just want it to be twist so just x because it's display its array its x axis is facing toward other joints so it's we need to do just x axis so select this and rotate it also. okay we are getting a rotation control select this control select this one okay not this one select this and control select shift select the Press join and go to constant and just to orient constant. This time we are not going to need X, we are just going to YG and hit add. Now see the control what we are going to able to get from that. Okay, if you just move X axis, this twist joint will move. Just this joint, this joint doesn't affect. And if you move in a G direction, okay, this is going to move. And if we just put this and we can just create a pole vector control, just create a curve, okay, and just snap it, let's group it, and I'm not going to rename this time, I'm really, it's taking a lot of time, so just hit zero, and snap its group, hot snap to this, and then for the circle, so zero okay it's facing toward it and select this followed by this i can control and go to constant and do all vector constant okay now see the control what we are going to able to get okay if it, it will twist just go and move this pole vector okay it will be on the place okay now we're going to get this and also we are going to get this effect okay so the purpose of this uh, uh, joint is when you are going to skin the character uh, it all will be i case so you can control it with the fk i have shown in the latest tutorials create an fk joint and bind it and for this joint you can just put the influence of this in your uh, wrist so it will rotate your wrist a little bit and get a good deformation so i think you have got it this if you have any problem you can mail me so bye and meet you on another tutorials